Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is Thursday, October 3rd, 2024, and we're just taking a little hike out here to Andrews Bald. I'm surprised I haven't done a video about this yet. It's one of our favorite hikes in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go. The trailhead for the Andrews Bald hike is also the parking area for what you'll probably know as Clingman's Dome, but its original name has been restored to it, Kowohi. That's a Cherokee word or meaning for Mulberry Place. And that was the original name for it. But the key to this hike will be getting here pretty early to start it as that parking lot fills up very quick. And also don't forget your now required Great Smoky Mountains National Park parking pass and that is separate from a national park pass so make sure you buy it they have daily weekly and annual pass options <music> hiked this trail quite a few times in the past just never really put it on video and Andrews Ball the entire hike is about 3.7 miles I've tracked it previously when we've hiked it you can also add in the Clingman's Dome paved trail the AT southbound and the Clingman's Dome bypass trail with Andrews Ball and that'll make up about 5.2 or 5.3 miles and this is one of our favorite hikes in the Smokies. As I mentioned, you get to pass through a lot of this high elevation spruce fir forest, see some animals you can't normally see in the lower elevation, a little cooler during the summer. And then you get that great view at the bald at the end of the hike. see out here at the halfway point of the hike great views from Andrews Bald to the west and this is my choice for my birthday hike today is also my 35th birthday and can't ask for much better weather or views than this we did have other plans to go to Grandfather Mountain but we're just now about six days out from the devastating effects of Hurricane Helene and we do live here in Western North Carolina for the most part our community our town was spared any effects, very minor effects, just mainly fuel and supply chain issues at this point. But we continue to think about all the communities to the east of us that were affected. Uh, we love all of those places and we've been through many of them. We continue to think about them through this recovery process and we look forward to getting back out to those communities in the future. <music> This is another reason we love Andrews Bald so much. I can guarantee you there are hundreds of people at Clingman's Dome by now on such a small observation tower. And this entire hike so far, we may have seen 10 people. And we pretty much have this all to ourselves right now. We are 
are on our way back from Andrew's Ball, back to the car, back into the spruce fir forest. Another 1.7 back to the parking lot and passing quite a few people at this time. As far as difficulty of the hike to Andrews Balden back, I guess I'd have to list it as moderate. It's fairly easy when it comes to hiking in the mountains, but it does have some challenge to it. About 700 total feet of elevation gain in the 3.7 miles. And some of that is in the trip out to the bald, but on the way back is when you gain about 550 feet or so of elevation. at the car hope you enjoyed the hike out and back to andrews bald and if you're ever in the great smoky mountains national park near kuohi formerly clingman's dome be sure to go check it out i'm sure you'll enjoy it and we'll see you on the next video time to get back to the house and hopefully find a great birthday dinner somewhere we'll see you next time